in the introduction of the broadcast, we were talking about the elderly population as a population that's a specific risk, has specific issues. Um, Dr. Hamlin, maybe you can start off on this topic. Um, uh, from your clinical practice and your research, what are some of the issues that, that you face with the elderly population in this disease? You know, I think when we think of Hodgkin lymphoma, we, we think of this as a disease of the young, which it predominantly is. About 10 to 15 percent of patients, though, will be over the age of 60 and, and have attendant with the aging process comorbid illnesses and poor tolerance for ke chemotherapy. By the way, the older I get, the younger that sounds, but keep going. <laughs> and, and for most of us in Hodgkin lymphoma, it doesn't take much to be old. So when we think about our risk models, being 45 years of age can put you into an older category. Um, so I think there's an, an increased understanding that the older patient population has done less well with the exact same regimens that we give to younger patients, and it is a combination of tolerability of therapy as well as increased toxicity. Um, and, and we're trying to address that on a number of fronts, um, but it's a difficult population to study. It always perplexes me, however, that in, uh, in the most common lymphoma that we take care of, which is called diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, we give, with the median age is 64. We give full course chemotherapy every two to three weeks with higher dosages of chemotherapy. And for whatever reason, the patient's tolerated extremely well. For the ABVD chemotherapy program is tolerated poorly in this patient population. And the research to figure that out is, is, is lacking. So it's not that you're afraid with one disease for one patient population is that the therapy itself seems to be poorly tolerated. Yeah. I wonder if that's because as people get older, they might have less cardiopulmonary reserve. We're using two drugs that affect those two organs. And in addition, in Hodgkin's, you, you kind of throw in the immune defects. As, you, as we age, we have immune senescence, and you throw in a disease that gives you an immune compromise, and maybe that's part of the problem as well. But I think you know, it hasn't been studied quite as we, well as we, it should have. We acknowledge as well that the biology may be skewed as you get older and that there's an increased interaction between Epstein-Barr virus and the older patient mm -hmm. as well. So that's always lurking in the background. But the key thing that we want people to remember is that um, the treatment has to be with curative intent. Even though the patients who are older than 60 do significantly worse than the patients who are younger than 60, if you just think of Hodgkin lymphoma in the elderly as a distinct entity, it would still be one of the best cancers to have. And the patients need to be treated with curative intent. 